Hello everyone, so for today's video, we're gonna talk about introduction to ICT. It's ETEC Week 1 Top. So now what is ICT? ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. So as you'll know, ICT is the term that is currently flavored, flavored by most business and educational institutions. So the C here reflects the important role that computers now play in the communication. Example by email, the web, the satellite, and cell phones. And the S communi in communications at the end of the communication, which is a term that predates computer technology and was originally associated with Morse code, radio, and often abbreviated comms C O M M S comms So it deals with the use of different communication technologies such as mobile phones, telephones, internet to locate, save, send and edit information. As a study of computers as data processing tools, it introduces students to the fundamental of using computer systems in an internet environment. So now, the ICT in the Philippines. So, in a data gathered by the Annual Survey of Philippines Business and Industries in 2010, the ICT industry shares 19.3% of the total employment population. And in Time Magazine, they declared that, ba that the Makati City Philippines ranked one as the southeast cities around the world. And Philippines is dubbed as the ICT hub of Asia because of the huge growth of ICT related jobs, one of which is business process outsourcing or call centers. And according to 2013 edition of Measuring the Information Strategy by the International Telecommunication Union, there are 106.8 cell phones per 100 Filipinos in the year 2012. So, ICT department in the Philippines is responsible for the planning, development, and promotion of the country's information and communication technology agenda in support of national development. So now, what? The computer. Computer and electronic device for storing and processing data, typically in binary form, according to instructions given to it in the variable program. Internet is the global system of interconnected computer networks that use Internet Protocol Suite to link billions of devices worldwide. Also, it means of connecting a computer to any other computer anywhere around the world via dedicated routers and servers. Sometimes called simply the net, is a worldwide system of computers network, a network of networks in which the user at any one computer can get information from any other computer. So now the WWW also called World Wide Web. WWW, an information system on the internet that allows documents to connect to other documents by hopper text links, enabling the user to search for information by moving from one document to another. It's an information space where documents and other web, web resources are identified by URLs interlinked by hopper text links and can be accessed via the internet. Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. Next is the Web Pages. The Web Page is a hypertext document connected to the World Wide Web. It is a document that is suitable for the World Wide Web. There are three online platforms of World Wide Web. The Web 1.0, the Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Now, 
these are the different the online platforms on World Wide Web. So first, we have the Web 1.0, so refers to the first stage in the World Wide Web, which was entirely made up of web pages connected by hyperlinks. So Web 1.0 is the first stage. In here, you cannot edit, share, comment, or tag other people, or even create an own account. So all you have to do here is read only. So also known as static flat or scenary page. So static web page, also known as flat page or scenary page, in the sense that the page is as is and cannot be manipulated by the user. The content is also the same for all the user that is referred to as web 1.0. Next is Web 2.0. So here you can now create an account, able to comment, or share information. So Web 2.0 is the evolution of Web 1.0 by adding dynamic pages. The user is able to see a website differently than others. So allows user to interact the page. Instead of just reading the page, the user may be able to comment or create user account. So Web 2.0 also known as dynamic page, which means the evolution of Web 1.0 by adding dynamic web pages. The user is able to see websites differently from others. So example of this are social networking sites, blogs, wikis, and video sharing sites. And lastly, we have the Web 3.0, the semantic web. Semantic web means is a movement lead by the World Wide Web Consortium or W3C. It provides a framework that allows data to be shared and used to deliver web content specifically targeting the user. It aims to have machines or servers understand the user preferences to be able to deliver web content. So example of web 3.0 is the Alexa, Siri, and Google. Next, the Web 2.0 Key Features so First, we have the Foxonomy So, Foxonomy allows user to categorize and classify information using freely choosing keywords For example, tagging by FB, Twitter, or use, use ha tags that start with the sign hashtag So, referred to as hashtags Next is user interface so content is dynamic and responsive to users input so in here in rich user interface an example would be a website that shows local content in the case of social networking site when logged on your account is used to modify what you see in their website next we have the user participation so the owner of the website is not the only one who is able to put content. Others are able to paste a content of their own by means of comments, reviews, and duration. So example are the Lazada, Amazon, Shopee, Shein, etc. Hey. Next, we have long tail. Long tail services that are offered on demand rather than one time purchase. This is synonymous to subscribing to a data plan that charges you for amount of time you spend on the internet. So the example of long tail are the Netflix, the Disney Plus, VPN, Bilibili, and many more. Last, we have the software as a services. Users will be subscribed to software only when needed rather than purchasing them. Example, Google Docs used to create an edit world processing and spreadsheets. So now in Web 3.0. So in Web 3.0, this is the semantic web. This web is very new. It's very new. So example of this are the Alexa. Siri and Google. So, and Web 3.0 had to be fully realized because of several problems. So, first is the compatibility. 
Bibili. So, HTML files and current web browsers could not support Web 3.0. Security. The user's security is also a question since the machine is saving his or her preferences. Next is the vastness. Vastness. The World Wide Web is already contains billions of web pages. Next is the vagueness. Certain words are imprecise. The word old and small will depend on the user. Next is logic. Since machines use logic, there are certain limitations for a computer to be able to predict what the user is referring to a given time. So, the computer might not understand what you're saying because it doesn't have enough logic to understand you. Now, let's talk about the trends in ICT. So, trends in ICT, we have first the convergence, the social media, the mobile technologies, the assistive media. First, let's talk about the convergence. Convergence is the synergy of technological advancement to work on a similar goal or task. For example, besides using your personal computer to create Word documents, you can now use your smartphones. So, example of this is, is you don't need uh, a laptop to edit your videos or pictures because you can now edit Eat it in your cell phones or tablets. Now the social media. Social media is a website, application, or online channel that enables web user or web user to create, to create, discuss, modify, and exchange user-generated content. So in social media, we have six types. So not that. So we have six types of social media. First is the social network. These are sites that allows you to connect with other people with the same interest or background. Once the user creates his or her account, he or she can set up a profile on people, share content, etc. The example of this is a Facebook and Google. So next is the bookmarking sites. Sites that allow you to store and manage links to various websites and resources. Most of the sites allows you to create a tag to others. For example, Stumble, Yupa, and Pinterest. Next, the social news. Social news sites that allows users to post their own news items or links to other news sources. The user can also comment to the post on the post, and comments may also be linked. The example is the Reddit and Dig. So next is media sharing. Media sharing sites allows you to upload and share media content like images, music, and video. The example is Flickr, YouTube, and Instagram. So next is microblogging. Microblogging. These are these are the site focused on short updates from the user. Those that subscribe to the user will be able to receive these updates. Example, Twitter and Plurip. Next is the blogs and forums. Allows user to post their content. Other users are able to comment on the said topic. Example, Blogger, WordPress, and Tumblr. So, so... That are the, those are the six types of social media. So first, we have the social networks, bookmarking sites, social news, media sharing, microblogging, blogs, and forums. So now, let's move on to number uh, the trend, uh, the mobile technologies. So number three, and trends in ICD, the mobile technologies. So, the popularity of smartphones and tablets has taken a major rise over the years. This is largely because of the device's capability to do the tasks that were originally found in the PCs. Several of these devices are capable of using high-speed internet. Today, the latest model devices use 4G networking or LTE, which is currently the fastest mobile network. 
Also now we have the 5G which is more fast. So first we have the mobile OS. So mobile OS, iOS. So iOS used in Apple devices such as iPhones and iPad. Android and open sources. OS developed by Google being open source means mobile phone companies use this OS for free. So example of our Android is Lenovo, Huawei, Oppo, and many more. And on iOS, iPhone, and iPad. Next is BlackBerry OS used in BlackBerry devices. Next is Windows Phone OS, a closed source of proprietary operating system develop, developed by Microsoft. Next is Symbian, the original smartphone OS used by Nokia devices. Next is the Web OS, originally used in smartphone, now in smart TVs. And lastly, we have the Windows Mobile, developed by Microsoft for smartphones and pocket PCs. So, those are the mobile OS and mobile technologies. Next is assistive media. So this, so this is the last trend in ICT system media. So assistive media is a non-profit service designed to help people who have visual and reading impairments. A database of audio recordings is used to read to the user. So those are the trends in ICT. First, we have the convergence, social media, mobile technologies, and assistive media. Hey. So that's the end of ETAC week 1, introduction to ICT.